take a look at it real quick. I just like seeing a camper van build, see what people do with them. It's really cool. I like the dog. Uh, don't sell your van. The dog's going to miss it. Look, he's already sad. He's like, why are you going to sell the van? Dogs love vans. This is the third time now I've seen a cool van at Home Depot. Lifted van siding. I've seen this one before. I've seen it several times actually. This is like the sixth time I've seen this van. Filmed it once. One day I'll run into this guy. It's an action van suspension with an upgraded radius arm with the pivot. All right, it's that time of the week. Everyone's favorite series on this channel, Vans for Sale. I have one nice lifted van to share with you guys this week. I really hope that one of you ends up with this van. I want to see this van in the hands of a car enthusiast. This van's in my neighborhood. I've met the guy that owns this van. We talked a little bit. When I was talking to him, his van wasn't lifted yet, so this van has a fresh lift on it under ten thousand dollars ambulance build and you could start your own interior on it so this van is the 7.3 diesel the diesel that you want the 6.0 can be decent but you got to do all kinds of mods to it to make it reliable i think that's kind of poor when an engine isn't good out of the box but 7.3 legendary reputation so I really hope one of you guys ends up with this van. And like I said, I know it's a fresh lift on this because I've talked to this guy, ran into him. That uh, 7-Eleven right there actually is uh, right across the gym I go to right there. So yeah, check this one out. It, there's a YouTube video on it. I'll uh, put it in the, I'll pin this in the comments, the ad and the um, YouTube video for this van. I hope a car enthusiast ends up with this one. Here's a video if you're interested in this van. It's gonna be pinned in the comments. So that last van, under 10 grand, I hope one of you picks it up because I would like to see that van around. So since it's an ambulance build, it had a tall roof already and a lift kit. It's nice when you could get a tall roof or a lift kit already on the van you're buying. Both is great, but either or is nice. This one has the tall roof almost sixteen thousand dollars and i just clicked on it because it's a nice van it's really cool to see the builds this is like one of those builds will that will uh get attention on instagram people just like really nice interiors you know what i really like when people do that actually the led lights i think i'm gonna build um a cover for my van like a really nice cover for the windows and start doing some nice leds i'm really starting to like that look a lot a really nice van all right let's look at another one this van has a super mega roof 15 grand seems like that's what a lot of these uh high roof vans go for about 15 grand when it's a build he has the cool rims someone buy this and put a lift kit on this van this van needs a lift kit let's take a look at it real quick i just like seeing a camper van build see what people do with them it's really cool i like the dog uh don't sell your van the dog's gonna miss it look he's already sad he's like why are you gonna sell the van dogs love vans good looking van it's got the sink that's why i clicked on this one this is why i saved this one the dartboard what van has a dartboard in it you could play darts in a van what other vehicle besides an rv that you could play darts in your vehicle that's cool i just i just love what people do with their vans every not all of them are the same everyone's a little different you know, some, you, you know, some are similar, like when you're looking at like camper van builds like this, pretty similar. There's always going to be a sink here somewhere, but there's always a nice little touch that everyone does with their van. I know I have Dodge fans watching my channel now, so I got to share a Dodge. And like I said in other videos, Dodges are such great values, just a lot cheaper. 
than Fords and GMs. So 10 grand for this one, 100,000 miles. And look at the interior of this one. Like I said, that's nice. I like the stone wallpaper. See, every so on this one, the sink's on this side, but this looks like it came like this. Yeah, I think this is a road track. Yeah, this is a road track. So there you go, Dodge, 10 grand. It's been a while since I've shared an Astro van or a Safari, almost 20 grand. These vans go for a lot, especially with all wheel drive. This one has all wheel drive, four wheel drive, three inch lift kit on a Journeys off-road. Yeah, this one's just really nice too. And not as big as the full size vans, but big enough. Yeah, this one's really nice. 87,000 miles also. So there you go. A couple of vans for sale. Shout out to my friend Jeff. He's looking at a van right now. The, you know the one you sent me yesterday, man. You got to look at it. Let me know. I hope you get to drive it and keep me updated, man, if you're going to buy it. I'm excited for you, man. I'm happy for all of you who are going to get a van this year or a lift kit this year. All right, I'm interacting with a lot of you who want to buy a van this year or you already have a van and you want a lift kit this year. I know a lot of you are going with action van suspension. Uh, Chris, my friend Chris, he already went with an action van this year. And a lot of you go with action van because of the price, $20.89 for their base kit. My friend Chris, I'll share his van again at the end of this video. He's in Florida and the action van kit was a $2,800 shipped. And Welltech was going to be 4700 shipped, so big price difference. It was 300 to ship to Florida, and Welltech would have been 600 to get shipped to him. So the van we saw earlier, the one I shared at the beginning of this video, here's the upgrade he had. Like, nothing wrong with the base kit. It's just such a, such a bargain on the lift kit market for these vans. It's The market for these uh, vans is not very big, so not there's not many... Um, there's not many choices. This is what the base action van suspension lift kit comes with. This is the modified radius arm and it has a bushing just like the factory Ford radius arm. So that van I saw earlier, this is what he's running right here. He's running the 2010 and newer radius arm. So this is what I'm wondering if you guys have the 20 if you guys have a 2010 or newer Econoline, I wonder if this comes standard. Like I, I would I would call up Action Van and find out if um this this style radius arm comes standard if you have a 2010. But you could upgrade to this radius arm if you have a van that's older than a 2010 and it has a pivot on the radius arm right there. So that guy upgraded to these radius arms. Or like I said, I don't know if it came standard, but if you upgrade to it, it's a 289. So something to look at here are some upgrades to consider if you want to add to the 2089 base kit price if you want to upgrade to fox shocks over bill steins 300 dollars, about 300 dollars. steering stabilizer either 129 or 149 upgraded radius arm to the 2010 style about 300 and the custom radius arm seven but if you're going to go with the custom radius arm just go with the ultimate kit $28.95 and here's something to consider if you're out of state if you get the ultimate kit there's no core charge so what the $175 core charge means is you have to send your original um, radius arm to action van and then your core charge will be refunded the $175 but the ultimate kit they're not modifying any stock part it's just a complete completely new kit so $28.95 and it comes with the uh, steering stabilizer and the really cool custom radius arm, the tubed radius arm. So something to consider if you're out of state, if you want to spend a little bit more, but you don't have to worry about a core charge. Action vans around $300 a ship if you're out of state. So something to think about. A couple upgrades.